Let's look at an example of a portion of a periodic digital waveform. The measurements are in milliseconds, and what we want to find is A, the period, B, the frequency, and C, the duty cycle. I encourage you to stop the video now and see if you can solve this on your own. Okay, let's start with the period. Remember the period is the length of the waveform from one edge to the other of the repeating pulse. We can use one leading edge to the next, and this gives us 0 milliseconds to 10 milliseconds. So the period of our pulse is t equals 10 milliseconds. Now let's find the frequency. The frequency is the inverse of the period. So f equals 1 divided by t. We now have 1 divided by 10 milliseconds. Because frequency is measured in hertz, which is inverse seconds, we need to convert milliseconds to seconds. Milla is the SI prefix for one thousandth. So we need to move the decimal to the left three places, giving us 0.01 seconds. If you need to see how this is done in a little more detail, check out my video on using the table method. We're now set to divide 1 by 0.01 seconds. This gives us 100 inverse seconds, or 100 hertz. Our last task is to find the duty cycle. The duty cycle is pulse width divided by the period times 100%. So now we need to see what the pulse width is. In this example, the pulse width lasts from 0 milliseconds to 1 millisecond. So the pulse width is 1 millisecond. So the duty cycle can be found by dividing 1 millisecond by 10 milliseconds and multiplying by 100%. The duty cycle is unitless, and both the pulse width and period are in milliseconds. They're going to divide out, so there's no need to convert these to seconds. So 1 divided by 10 times 100% gives us 10%. The duty cycle is 10%, which means the pulse is high for 10% of the period.